Hi there, my name is Mark Chi. Uh, I teach the uh, first year computing course, uh, Introduction to Programming Fundamentals, as well as Computer Graphics here at UNSW in the School of Computer Science and Engineering. Thinking back to it, Mark really had a huge impact, which was critical at the start of my journey in making me passionate about coding. And in a way, like Mark influenced me and inspired me to put in more effort for my students as well, because I also want them to have the same experience and for them to find their passion for the subject. It, it nearly means more to be nominated by your students than it is to be nominated by your colleagues. It's nearly like you think that the students don't really have any skin in the game. They don't, they don't need to promote you in any way. They've, they've gotten what they need out of you. So it's nearly like they've gone further to, to nominate me and other people for awards like this. Mark always kept his lectures interesting and engaging, which is actually really hard considering he's just talking about code for hours and hours on end. And it might seem like something small, but it really goes a long way to making students find their passion and pursuing coding in their spare time. I did also want to say though, that I'm really not alone here. I feel like at the moment, there are so many teachers going well out of their way to do amazing things, especially in the difficulties that we have nowadays. I think we all had to transition to being online and it's really hard with nearly no preparation that we all had to jump across to that. I think we need to give respect to all the people who've done it tough over the last two years uh, to continue teaching. I think a great teacher is defined by their ability to inspire their students because you know anyone can recite dot points off a slide, but it takes someone truly special to make the students genuinely interested in the subject. My biggest hope for what the students can get from classes like mine is um, is to never need us again. <laughs> so I think as academics we can we can fall into this, this urge to be necessary, uh, this urge to be indispensable, but I think that's actually the opposite of what we ought to be doing. I think my biggest hope for my students is that they get where they want to be, they go through the difficulties, they achieve something under their own power, and they see very importantly that it was under their own power and they can do it again if they need to without us. 